Hi guys, you have been so patient, but guess what? The home reveal has arrived. We are here, I'm about to show you my house. I just want you guys all to know that mi casa is tu casa. Let's check it out. Is holy ground and I am so sorry that I was not able to show it to you sooner but I couldn't find a handyman okay here we go come on in Tyler's here can you say hello hello everyone <laughs> he's doing an amazing job sorry to show you the bathroom first but as you walk into my home you are introduced to my beautiful little bathroom this shower is actually beautiful and very functional um, it is the guest bathroom shower oh look <laughs> somebody's here pokey you want to be part of the home reveals honky come on mark onward so onward here is our entryway and we have a photograph of my mother and i when i was just a tiny little whippersnapper yeah <laughs> when i was a tiny little whippersnapper i always like random stuff in bowls i don't know don't ask me why Okay, and then here we have la sala, the living room. Um, I put a lot of love into this living room. I got this Moroccan rug, and it was a little bit of a splurge, but um, I've been forgiven. Here we have my restoration hardware sofa, which I love. It's all linen, and this is Hendrix little Space Kitties blanket. He loves this thing. Here I carved out a large area for our TV so that Billy can watch his sports events, which he's been doing. So I built this fireplace out. It was kind of more of an antique old fashioned looking fireplace. So we just popped this bad boy out and it's a real wood burning fireplace. I'm so excited. I can't do much with it right now because it is very hot, almost 90 degrees. We have these beautiful little cabinets that <laughs> got some old wood in there. Um, that open up and I'm gonna get more pillows eventually on this little bench But you know just sit here and read and just contemplate my life and, and when the rain pours through the window <laughs> Yeah, you can gaze out on a rainy day exactly so far away da -da 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 -da. You're so I don't know the rest <laughs> Okay, so then over here we've got the Dining room. Now, this dining room is pretty cool because it's got this crazy, amazing skylight, which actually drives Tyler and I kind of crazy because we can't sit here during the day because it gets too hot. Too darn hot. hot. Okay, I'm annoying myself. <laughs> okay, now here we have Billy's wine collection. Why did the apple blush? Because he saw the salad dressing. <laughs> Here, I wanted to have a gorgeous painting hanging for you guys, and I don't have one, or some great photos of the family. I don't have them, but I do have, which Tyler did for me, I love you Tyler, some really cool shots of the fam. This is Vance with Pokey when Pokey was just a little munchkin. Carney, Wendy, and Chai when we were um, little girls, and that's of course on the debut album that's inside the centerfold to my mother and Brooke, the beloved and greatly missed Granny Jacks with Vance. Here we have a picture on my wedding day of me and my father and my mom. Yeah. This was a tiny little doorway and we just blew this whole thing out so that we would create this open, airy, amazing vibe from the kitchen into the dining room. And Okay, now we have the kitchen. I'm very proud of my kitchen. I feel like uh, if you had seen before and after photos. So obviously we know that the kitchen is the heart of the home, but it's also where I am a personal slave to my whole family. Uh, yeah, I take individualized personal orders. So I could be cooking up four different meals at one time. I know I'm gonna get such such commenting on this, but guys, it's something I have to work on. I feel bad. If somebody doesn't like what I'm cooking, I'll 
personally individualize their order, customize it just for them. And it's highly codependent. So here we have my built-in shelves that, um, I saw a picture of some built-in shelves in you know one of those magazines, and I was like, oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta get them. We put the quartz in the kitchen. It's a really simple black and white quartz. Uh, Look at that view. Love it. Yes, and this view is very secret garden. Um, I've got my country kitchen sink. We have a dishwasher here. You can see how many dishes I did. And then I got these amazing chandeliers and I bought them online without seeing them. Sight unseen, I bought them and they actually dimension-wise worked out perfect. I built the sunroof. Yeah, it needs a little cleaning, but it is great. I need a little tinter on it, I think, because sometimes when I'm cooking, it's like, Aah! Yeah, um, okay, but I do love it and it creates all oh, such beautiful natural light in my kitchen. This is one of my favorite areas. This is our outdoor dining patio. And uh, we have a lot of meals out here. We're actually thinking about possibly screening it in. You know, it's just a lot of flies and stuff can kind of distract you when you're trying to eat. Um, then I've got my herbs here. I've got my mint. Yum, I love mint. And that one's dying. This one's parsley, parsley, more mint, parsley and parsley with cobwebs. <laughs> uh, and then I put these little party lights here, which I think really, really added to the peaceful, fun, um, celebratory atmosphere. The house had different floors, uh, but I decided that we needed to rip them out and start fresh. I went with a really beautiful oak, and I just love our floors. It's one of my favorite parts of the house. So this is my pantry. And the pantry is something that I was not going to negotiate. I had to have a pantry. Because if you're, you know, an avid cook, you want your food to be organized. Water dispenser here. Oh my gosh, I was so thirsty. And Billy doesn't really like dog food in the main fridge. So I solved that problem by getting us a little mini fridge. We needed a uh, washer dryer, of course. So we made a little double stacked um, area for the washer dryer. And fun fact, this room before it was a laundry room it, was... This was, this pantry was a laundry room and we converted it into a pantry. Look at all the beautiful cabinetry up there. And, and something else I love over here is this sliding barn door. It just is so great. And that actually was a bathroom that before. That was a bathroom, that's correct. That was a tiny little sink and toilet. Now onto the master bedroom. So this room was pretty much as is when we moved in, except it had this gigantic bookshelf that stretched from this wall all the way to this wall, and it had like a thousand books on it. Um, and we just decided to rip that out to make more space for Billy's closet. We do have some nice, you know, areas for him to put his shoes. And this is my master bedroom closet. And I love my closet. I do actually some Cal Preaches in here. My favorite part about this room is my little bench where I can sit out and look at my fountain or look off my balcony and look at the gorgeous, gorgeous flowers blooming all the time here in Santa Barbara. This is our master bathroom. And it was kind of an older tub, 
Billy uh, and I decided to take it out. That's a huge why. Actually, I decided to take it out. I did a lot of this house without Billy's consent. And it's not like I was being an evil wife. I just knew what was best for Billy. And I knew that if we spent just a little bit of extra money to get the house just right, we were both gonna have much more peace of mind and it was going to give our house greater value. So why not just get it done now instead of moving out for two, three weeks to do wooden floors or to paint or to, I just thought it was so silly to do it later. This is my shower. I hang my cross on my shower. It's a rosary. Um, I don't do the rosary, but I like to remind myself of the sacrifice that Jesus made for us every single morning. And that's a good way to do it. Okay. Then these are my Turkish towels, which I love my Turkish towels. And this is where you get ready. This is where I get ready every morning. So I just want to read you guys this little note that Billy left me on the mirror, which is so sweet. And he actually does this for me a lot. It says, my dearest darling, I so, 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 so love and adore every inch of you. You are my forever cream puff cotton candy unicorn rainbow lover. <laughs> I am forever yours, E-O-M, love me. And E-O-M is very sweet because it actually means every other moment, which means that he's thinking of me every other moment. It's very sweet. Should we do it? No! What happened was that we needed a room to just throw everything that made no sense into, and it just turned out to be your the office. office. I feel so bad. <laughs> I get stuck with the junk. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad. This is a great area. At six o'clock, the mission bells ring every single evening, so I have a timer on my phone, and I try and come out here and just listen to the church bells and praise the Lord. You know, this is also a great space to just praise and gaze. Where did she think we're going? <laughs> she thinks we're going on a walk. <laughs> oh my gosh. Brooke and I love to hang out right here under the umbrella in front of the house. It's such a great spot because you have access to everybody. It's just very central. You snooze, you lose. But that's exactly what I'm going to do. Night, night. So this is our guest house. So, um, yeah, we built this wall. This wall was not here. This was just one huge open space, this entire guest house. But we built this wall here um, to create a second bedroom because, of course, Jameson needed a room too. So we went ahead and built a second bedroom. It's great because this house has its own full kitchen. And, uh, you know, obviously fridge and... Brooke likes to make her smoothies. Brooke is so good about making her morning breakfast and her smoothies. I'm so proud of her. This mirror is awesome. I love this mirror. We've had it for about 20 years. And this is Jameson's room. It's an addition to the house. This was a one bedroom guest house and it's now a two bedroom guest house. This is the bathroom. It's quite large and I love the ceilings in this guest house. It's all rafters. And this is Brooke's room and she loves her little sanctuary. She's so at peace here. Here, shoot this. But yeah, she basically never wants to leave her room, but who could blame her? It's so cute. So from here, I can get to my she shed. Come on, Pokey. Come on, honey. And this is my she shed. 
and I get a lot of holy business done in here. I love to read scripture in here, and I love to pray, and I love to call my friends. And sometimes I just like to take a nap. Like literally, I'll just sit here and snooze for a little while. And then this is my sauna, which unfortunately, my fuse box busted, and I haven't been able to get in here for a while. But I love my sauna, and you know, me with my autoimmune issues, it's just essential for me to be able to have that heat on my muscles and on my bones. And Pokey loves it in here too, don't you, Pokey? Pokazonki, that's your bed, right? And she sleeps on her bed. She loves her little bed. So this was kind of a cool little semi-miracle. Uh, there was, we did the wooden floors in the house and there was a little bit of wood left over. So we put the wood in the shed, yay! It worked out perfect. There was exactly enough wood left. And look at this view. Yeah, and I look at this gorgeous, gorgeous view out here every day. It doesn't suck. Let's take a little walk through my garden. So, yeah, this house belonged to a woman who didn't have any children, and she decided that she was going to leave the house to charity. So we still don't know which charity she ended up giving all of our money to. <laughs> But we're just grateful that it did all go to charity because that just makes it feel so good, you know? Like it already had a good vibration around it. Good vibration? Yeah, good, 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 good vibration. So this is my favorite place also to sit. I love the swing. Billy and I come here and we just talk about our day and how it went and this is all a lie. But yeah, we just sit here every day and we talk about how our day went. You guys have been so patient and I'm so grateful that finally you've been able to see my humble abode. This is my little sanctuary. I hope you enjoyed it and let's all remember that we're all just walking each other home. And peace of Christ, mi casa es tu casa. Bye guys. Come on, Bucky. Come on. You want a treat? Hey. Hey you guys, if this video blessed you in any way, I pray that you will subscribe and I also pray that you'll press that little button next to the subscribe because that is an alert button and it will give you a notification every single time there's a brand new Cal Preach. And of course, share because sharing is caring and you just never know who's going to find the peace of Christ. Amen.